That's fine. Blue deck. Don't want to double tag here. Oof. I think we keep the ace and the clubs. This is not quite enough. Let's see if we can get a better club into the mix. Pair of four is how to do it. Alright, so we are blue deck, so this is essentially the same spot we'd be if we were any other deck. Okay, well that's a floor one stunt, man. <laughs> You'll love to see that. We do need something with flat molt now. Okay. Uh, run might be solved. Let's keep the ace. can't take this with the uh, ride the bus. So I think we just save some money and start scaling the, uh, the bus here. I think I kind of want to play weekends here. My money is fine and we'll just rely on interest for that. Now that said, a spectral pack is hard to pass up on. Immolate with uh, three face cards getting destroyed here. I don't want to re further reduce my hand size, so let's uh, yeah, let's get twenty dollars. That was pretty good value. And we go next. I don't want an Eternal Scholar right now. I don't think. Oops! All face cards. All right. Just play high card. What's the thing you like the most about Bellatro? Uh, it's a nearly impossible question to answer, I feel like. There are a lot of great qualities that it has, but... Um, this could get me some short-term strength, but I really want to stay... I have already got that in Stuntman, and I kind of want to stay fairly weak to get the bus going. I want to take advantage of my plus one extra hand here. Because we're already pretty strong. But I think the, the variety in each run is what makes it uh, very appealing to me. Might as well buy a d discard here since we have so much money and not much else interesting to spend it on. This ought to pay for itself. I'm not going to... I can't get the business card, and this is just fine when it's on a pair. Like, I can't really make hands that aren't pair or high card right now. But I should be able to make pair or high card. I don't think I need the Mega Buffoon pack so much as I need more scaling. That's a pair. Give me money. Now give me high card. Hole! Oh! That was very lucky. That it just was like basically 10 free dollars. <laughs> Plus whatever I sell it for. Eternal Egg. Let's, uh, let's look for high card and stuff in here. That's a way that we could get stronger. Pair is fine. Okay, sure. We just want to try and make pairs long term, it looks like. Let's roll, because I'm so freaking rich. All right, uh, we've got very good direction for our long term game plan now. Uh, let's just play some low high cards here for bus scaling. Get rid of the jack. This is good for the vampire. I don't think I need Uranus right now. This is actually a tough call. I think I probably just want to go with the enhanced cards. I need to get the vampire to be more useful than it is currently. And I don't want to risk a stone card turning into another base card.
Honestly, it might just be worth discarding for all of the uh, enhanced cards right now. Okay. Just because we draw so few cards, it's hard to actually find the uh, the enhanced cards for the vampire. But long term, we will get there. Okay. I wouldn't mind... Um, let me just make an enhanced card. I don't have a lot of enhanced cards, so we're going to discard very hard for the uh, DNA again. Especially since we drew so many face cards. Okay. Just make a copy of this. And then I might discard down to keep it in my deck for the future. Okay. Eh, we'll just play it here. I need to get out of the to-do list long-term. Another Arcana pack could be interesting. It's only a dollar. Hero font for two enhanced cards, so we're just going to dig for those. And I think I'd rather have the interest roll over. How much sells for two? Yeah, I think I'd rather have the interest than a chance at a planet card. I would still like to find Pluto. Ooh. Very nice. Let's just play the enhanced cards, get this vamp up. He's already at 2.2, that's pretty good for where we are in the game. Hangman good, standard pack's good for enhanced cards. This has value both before and after uh, the vampire sucks it off. Same thing here. Pretty dense on fives. We just want to use this to delete face cards. Clubs are debuffed is fine. It's a full discard, even though I have the pair. This is the one that I want to copy. So I play this hand, suck it off, and then discard everything else. I might want to get more additions of that so that I can just get a lot of uh, fives. This is very good. That guarantees... I'll get this later, but, like, hand size doesn't actually matter right, right now. Sto two stone... Which one is the non-face card, Chad? Yeah, what do you think? Either way, we're going to be discarding it, so... A stuntman actually riding the bus where they're usually jumping their powerful virile motorcycles over them. Uh, yeah, well, clearly you haven't seen the movie Speed, which is a movie about speed and going real fast. So... And buses, allegedly. Okay, we did hit an enhanced card, so I'm going to save it. I also do want to find another face card to delete with the Hung Man. Just go here, play this. Play these. And unfortunately, we don't get to delete the king. Like, I don't even know how much I... Suppose an ace is cool. An enhanced ace is even cooler. Like, I don't know how much I care about the hand size is the real thing here. This is fine. Start with zero discards. We'll see how, my, how we're doing after this next uh, blind and then make a decision. There we go. Okay, 
enhancements mod check. Well, that's bad. Uh, we're just not getting DNA value here, I suppose. Because I don't want to copy. There's no point in copying any of these. There would have been a point in copying this, at least. Definitely buy this. And then definitely skip this. Like, I don't want to dilute my deck when I need to... My goal right now is to find enhancements, so... Alright, I guess we can do this. This will make it a little bit easier to uh, find the enhanced cards. There's one. another one for you. Let's buy this. Um, this is interesting, but it's eternal, so I'm not as convinced I want it right now. Let's just go ahead and redeem this, see if we get a decent option in the refill. No? Eternal Jokers are not a downside, by the way. I do need to get out of uh, to-do list. I think I want to keep the five. I think I have a high density of fives, right? Actually, eights are where it seems to be, so... Let's look for those. Okay, this is the five that I'm into. Let's copy this. Then we might actually be able to get that full house. Unlucky. So we probably just make a pair here and save the, uh, the five for the money. We get the money from playing it anyway, and also we get to suck it off. Probably should have sold this. Would have put me at an interest threshold. Wow, what a terrible pack. Discard, find an enhanced card. Or simply hit a full house. Okay, we'll make more of this five. So we can get more monies. Chaos the Clown, probably an upgrade for now, so we can see more cards. That is a wild card and a stone card, both of which we can suck off. Must play five cards. Well, it's a good thing I didn't completely destroy my hand size, right? I do have to be actually careful with my discards now, though. Okay. Use this. Use this. Let's uh, play this. I wonder what's going to happen when we play this with the uh, DNA. Oh, nothing. <laughs> that was a dumb, stupid idiot move. Probably should have kept the eights. It's marginally easier to hit eights than fives, I think. Just play the pair. This is already at times five. I guess we are going into anti seven, but it doesn't feel like we've put that much time or effort into it. Cardomancer is tempting, but again, it's eternal.
trading card similarly. At least it's not eternal. That's probably more money than the Chaos the Clown, surely. We get to delete some more face cards. And pay for my enhanced card addiction. face cards. <sighs> what do I copy here? Probably this, right? Then I think I actually discard this one. Immediately get disappointed. And we can just play this. No, that'll score. Probably want the. Uh, hey, we hit the full house finally. But I probably want the vampire value more than I need the three dollars. Like the only thing that we need money for is to get out of these two jokers into like point scoring stuff. Which honestly isn't even that big of a deal. Like these three jokers are solo carrying right now. to six. I haven't done a good job of drawing the face cards that I'm looking for. Okay, let's stone this man. Play this. And play this. Cool. Awful, why are we poor? I swear we had 40 bucks in the bank a moment ago. We're not poor, what are you talking about? It's an oof. This is not helpful, so let's just go ahead and use this. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Uh, some real awkward anti-synergy with the vampire. But... Does have some interesting, interesting uh, changes that we can make. Because we can just, like, feed the vampire once right now. And that will be net neutral for the driver's license. So we could do something like this, this. if I can activate this, my my deck is just set, right? Like, this at time 6 is already pretty good. Buy this. Buy this. Buy this. Ten. I need six more. Should be able to get there. This boss blind is not a real boss blind. <laughs> For my deck, at least. Need four more. I don't know if we're gonna get there, in fact. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. So you're saying there's a chance. Unlucky. 
unlucky. Unless... No, still unlucky. Yeah, that couldn't ever give me enough. Unless... Unless... Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Made a straight in there. Huh? Okay, here's a chance, though. There's no way we can get enough now. Three off. just win the run. That's probably the way to go, isn't it? Rather than trying to get too cute with it. Four of a kind? Pog. What a way to end it. <laughs> Good run. Good, uh, quick and easy first win of the day.